Sports Edge, joined tonight by Josh Zide, who we first introduced you to uh, back in 2005 as a dominant high school pitcher at Hamden Hall. A lot has happened since then, but you're back home in the state pitching for the New Britain Bees, and what's it like being back home pitching? It's awesome. Uh, it was fun pitching here uh, in high school. You know, it's a little bit different competition at that time, and uh, you know, being back here playing for the New Britain Bees, you know, I get to pitch in front of my parents, my grandparents, uh, my family, my aunts and uncles, everyone, you know, whether this is the beginning of something special or, or the end of a really long career, you know, I'm just happy to be home. We heard you were coming back to town. We, we, we racked our brain and we dug through the archives. We needed to find a photo from you back in the day. We what, did we what did we well, find? What do we find? Greg, what do we, what do we have of Josh? I think uh, we got a little something to show. Oh, look at that. Look There's at your that favorite kid. photo. You remember that guy? Who is that? That's a baby right there that has no <laughs> idea what's about to hit him. You can actually That's, grow facial hair now. Too, I huh? can, and it won't stop growing. Now. When you look back at that picture in those days, does it seem like a century ago? <laughs> Which it is over a century ago, yeah. No, it, it, you know, if I knew what I knew now, you know, 10, 12 years ago, like all of us, I would still do it, yeah. you know, but I would have had a little more appreciation for it when I was in high school and, you know, my first few years of college, you know, wisdom is key. Like, I wasn't worried about anything back then. And now it, it seems that everything that I did in the past, you know, absolutely had a purpose and, you know, should have done a little bit better. Well, back then, I remember you, you telling me you wanted to one day play in the major leagues. Yeah. So, so you've lived that dream by p playing the major leagues with the Houston Astros. I know you would like to get back there. You know, every day I go out there, even every day I practice, every day I pitch in a game, it's up to me. You know, I have to go out there, I have to put up the numbers, I have to get the guys out that I need to get out, pitch in front of the right scout, pitch in front of the right team and they'll give you the opportunity. And then once they give you that opportunity, then you still have to take it, take the bull by the horns. There's always somebody younger, there's always somebody better, but I'm pretty stubborn. I've been pretty stubborn for a long time in my life, and you know, that's why I was able to fulfill my dream. So I'm, you know, I'm not giving up yet. I have the full support of my family, and you know, I'm ready to give it a try. Now, we, we got to see you on Sunday. How did it feel to be back on the mound in a starter role this time? It, I mean, being a starter, you know, you know when you pitch. Yeah. You, you have four days in between to, to work on your craft. When as a reliever, you know, I'd pitch two out of three days, three out of four days, you know, back to back days. And, you know, when you get done, if those outings didn't go great, you don't have the opportunity to go back and throw a bullpen. You just got to be ready to, to pitch in a game again. So you're kind of learning on the fly there. You know, now we're kind of going back to the basics and getting the things fine tuned that I've spent the last nine years kind of just skating by on. You said you could, if you could tell your young self something. Um, you're 29 years old now. You went to Vanderbilt out of uh, Hamlet Hall, then transferred to Tulane. What, what would the one piece of advice you'd give yourself right now? You're not that good, you know, no matter what. I mean, there's a lot of kids in high school, even in college, that have never had a moment of failure. Mm -hmm. You know, that doesn't mean that you're perfect. That doesn't mean that you are ready for the limelight or ready to be, you know, the big deal yet. I should have taken a different approach. I, I didn't handle my failures very well. I let them get the best of me. and you know, kind of sent me back a couple of years, which, you know, I'm happy for now because it obviously worked out. I met, you know, a lot of important people in my life and, you know, I ended up still making it to the major leagues. Did you have a kind of an aha moment when you were in the big leagues? Like when you stepped on the mound and saw maybe someone in the batter's box, did you have that moment? I mean, for my debut, I faced Adam Jones. He's an all-star center fielder for the Baltimore Orioles. He was the first batter I faced. It was a one-run game I came in and on the loud, the, the sound system, I mean, there was 30,000 people there, but the only thing I heard was making his major league debut That's is Josh Zide. And Adam Jones looked up at me and kind of smiled. And I got really nervous. And when I threw the pitch, he took the biggest hack. He did an extra leg lift, and he, he got after it a little bit. And he hit the ball about 390 feet you know, to the wall. It was an out, unfortunately. Okay. But got him. It, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was like, I'm here. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. You, you mentioned people along the way that you've met. One of the people you met along the way was your wife, yeah. um, who has a PhD in psychology. And I, I talked to you before we came out here. Is it help having someone? Because baseball is kind of a weird thing. It's, I'm sure it's an up and down emotional game. Do you ever go home and say, hey, honey, let me talk to you about what's going on right now? I don't know. Um, yeah, only sometimes. It's really challenging because you know, obviously she works all the time. And uh, so do I. You know, yeah. you know, I'm away for six months out of the year. And the last thing that we really want to do is just sit there and complain to each other about how tough our lives are. You know, we, we live pretty amazing lives. Mm -hmm. have a very healthy son. You know, I have a very healthy career, so does she. You don't you bring know, the jobs home. Don't bring the jobs home. You know, she doesn't want to hear about baseball, and I, unfortunately, don't really want to hear her. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, as much as we enjoy watching you pitch for the bees, 
Yeah. Let's not make a long-term thing of it. Let's, yeah. let's get you back to the big leagues. I completely agree. Thank you so much. You gonna take our phone call when you get back to the bigs, or you be like, hey, who? Eric, who? And John, John who? What? Sports. Hey, Sports what, Edge. What channel is that? Yeah, Absolutely. Okay. No, I, this, <laughs> is, this is my home. So yeah. No, I'll always remember you guys. Well, Josh, thanks for coming in, uh, and best of luck to you. We hope you get back there and uh, get to live a little more of that dream. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah.